So zooming in here, we have our stat list editor app. So under apps, choose your stat list editor. Always choose the main folder. Select enter. We'll move you here to your list editor. I have a bunch of data in my list that I want to clear out. I'm going to use my arrow keys so that I arrow over and up, highlighting the actual list one. And then I'm going to select clear, then enter. So make sure that you are doing the clear button. The clear button here, and then select the enter button. Uh, clear out any existing data. Then you're going to type in your data. So we have 38, 35, 28, 58, 36, 15, 23, 20, 29, 24, 32. After you've entered your data, you want to go into plots. So plots is under the F2 menu here, so I'm going to select the F2 key. You want the very first option, number one, plot setup. Now I have mine already set up here. You probably will not see this exactly here. What we need to do is go into F1 under define. Under this drop down menu, choose the modified box plot. The one here on option three, that box plot, will not find the outliers. And as we discussed in class, we're going to want to use the one with outliers. So use modified box plot. Under mark, you can use any of the marks, but box seems to show up the best. Now you might not have a list here, so if there's no list name here, if you have it as a blank spot, you want to do var link. So second var link, so the second blue key, and then var link, and var link is right above the minus key. And I have a lot of different things in here. It may look a little different, but if you're in the main folder here, use your down arrow key, and it is alphabetical, so you can kind of gauge where you're at, but we want list one label here. So here's my list one, or whatever list that you have it in. If you have list two, list three, four, etc. Pick the appropriate list where your data lives. So this is your name of your list. This is just telling you what app it's in and how much memory it's taking up. So just ignore your right hand columns looking just for list one on the left here. Select it by hitting enter and it will put the list one back up in there. I hit enter one more time. It's now highlighted on the list. Enter again, it's now going to do this OK. And hopefully you now should see what I have here with this little miniature box plot. Um, and then it should say list one or whatever list that you're working in. After you get it defined, then you would just go F5 for zoom data. And it will automatically resize your window to fit your box plot. To actually see what these numeric values are, you can go into F3 for trace. So if I select F3, the cursor is now blinking. It says down here at the bottom, the median is equal to 29. If I use my left arrow, I can go to the left and I can see that the smallest value is 15. Q1 would be 23. The median would be 29. That's the same thing also as Q2, or the 50th percentile. Q3, the 75th percentile. 38 is the next largest value in your data set after you remove the outlier. And if I arrow to the right once more, the outlier is this box way out here at 58.